All right, we're going straight into winners finals. This is going to be There's exciting. A treat. I think it's going to get really, really intense once we get to the uh, grand finals. But Rick and I'm Jay, bro. Yeah, I'm really, I really can't wait to see what uh, Rick is going to do this time. He just piled on the damage on Elsif last match, and I feel like he could do the exact same thing. To he, had right here. Seal, he had a lot of uh, shield pressure that killed yeah, him. Yeah, a lot every of shield of, pressure. Every out of shield was a big hit. Oh, so we actually might be getting a Sheik versus Falco matchup. I'm excited to go to fast. I'm excited to see this Sheik because uh, you actually made a Sheik. The voice of Salty Sundays has made <laughs> it finally. Sorry. Jesus. I was playing golf, but it took a little longer than I thought. <laughs> I lost my balls here. I could catch up on better like this. Now he's like the CEO. He's like, Seeing a lot of combos. <laughs> yeah, but I was playing golf. I was playing golf. Oh, and he gets a grab. She going for the grab and then no punish from the ledge. She already loses the stock, but I feel like she could. I feel like Jay Bro could Im immediately just take it back with a grab. Uh, uh, and he missed the down smash. That probably could have been it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to see Rick just pile on the damage. I think he could just take him out really quickly. Rick is really loving his down air shine combos. Yes, he is taking full advantage of the shines, which is pretty awesome. Like, it's always cool to see when you when, when you watch a uh, a good spaces player do some awesome edge shines. J Bro did a lot of back airs to take him off, and it was just it was really good. Oh, and he missed the down smash again. I feel like if you could just get a uh, an easy forward air and then an easy fair, it would just be over. Oh, it goes for the down smash. He's already out. So we're at two stocks right now. Not too much on uh, Rick right now at the moment. About exactly even. Yeah. Anything could happen at this moment. We got more of the shine Rick combos. Great. And ooh, all right. Six six getting too good. Oh, do you think Jaybro could take this? A missed attempt on a down air from Jaybro. Oh, and the missed fair. Oh, and really ends good up being guarding. Taken. He couldn't quite get he, back up to the ledge. He ends up missing the fair and then just gets the ledge taken away from him because of it. It was a perfect punishment. And now we have a we have a really good lead. Ooh, that was a really good shine to bear, keeping Sheik out of control exactly. entirely, not letting her get any ground game at all. Ooh, a freaking amazing bear just completely takes away the stock, but he's already at 106 percent. There is. Unless if he's extremely lucky and plays this very smart, just reads all the moves, he could take this back. J Bro could definitely benefit from playing carefully around the edges, but also Falco can retaliate from that with his down airs. Really good explosion to a down smash, and ends up being taken away just because of how high his percentage was. All right, Rick takes the lead here in this matchup. It looks like Jaybro is going for the Marth, Black Marth. I'm excited to see where this goes. We saw a Marth from uh, Dr. Mr. Samurai and didn't exactly get the show that we were expecting, but maybe we can get it this time from Jaybro. Jaybro already started. Straight for the going straight for Rab the Mars chain grabs are insanely productive. Especially at the beginning of a match, it can, it can already decide if you're going to take the stock or not. He takes the advantage of having Randall there. Randall. He's staying close to the edge. Illusion down air. I could imagine him going straight for a down air again if he can get him close to the edge. Take away the stock completely, but... Oh! And a forward really smash good. just throws it away. Jaybro has really good timing with the smart. Jaybro playing the really defensive from the from afar. 
Yeah, he is definitely trying to get Rick to just approach him instead of going Good for counter. Rick himself. Because he wants to read all of Rick's moves. And it looks like he's doing a really good job right now. Tries to go for the counter, but ends really up being punished. Rick. Alright. He's trying for those combos, but he's really, he really is. guard so easily because all of his moves come out of a wave dash pretty much, all of his power moves, that he can afford to shield so much. And because of Marth's weight, he doesn't easily get pulled into the combos. He can tech out of it extremely easy. A really good up smash from... Actually, was it up smash or up tilt? I, it was probably an up tilt. Up tilt is a good KO move good from Marth. Good up tilt from uh, J Bro. I want to see Rick pile on the uh, shine combos again. I feel like he could take away this stock really easily if he just does it. Ooh. Couldn't quite reach the ridge. Taking away the stock. Are we going to go for another chain grab? Nope. Nope. Chain grab. Okay. Probably because they were in front of the ledge. And up tilt was probably easily, the better idea. Could have easily dodged onto the platform and if he went for the grab. Maybe. I can see Rick attempting to do a lot of shine combos, oh, but ends up getting the deep. fair. He gets a good counter. Ooh, takes very really good over the illusion and J already Bro. uses a forward smash and he's taking him out really quickly. J Bro is doing a good job of predicting where Rick he's is going to end up. Put really good reads on him. Our two stocks to Rick, like, I'm surprised. I thought Rick was going to pull in a lot more weight for this match. I want to see him bring in a lot more hype. Oh, and the hype it is, dude. We got <laughs> Captain Falcon. Falcon. No one can hate on Captain Falcon. Even watching now the they, bad This Captain is going Falcon. to be exciting. <laughs> Nothing but knees. Nothing stock. but knees. All the stock. We already got the first knee. I want to <laughs> see him. Counting down. Ooh. Now, I don't know a whole lot about... Uh, most of Captain Falcon's game. I've seen a lot of it. Really he's already got a knee. really good knee on him. Straight out of the grab. That's what you're going to be seeing a lot from Captain Falcon in this game is the down down throw to knee. Right there. <laughs> Missed knee though. Yeah. We could be, we're going to be seeing actually a lot of air game from Captain Falcon. A lot of nares and a lot of dares. Just really staying keep... above Mark, which is odd pretty, because pretty Mark much. usually yeah. carries the air pretty well. Ooh, and a forward smash already takes away the stock. j -Bro is sitting at 23%. Not too much of, an, of a lead, but anything can go. Really scary. I can see Rick. To that edge with Mark. I can see Rick. He's trying to get, constantly get these grabs. He's just keeping Marth straight above him so he can keep on doing the up airs. A really good grab from Re Really good grab games coming from Rick right now. I feel, like, I feel like J-Bro could have had, if he would have wave dashed back and done a forward smash, he probably would have had Rick coming back onto the ledge, but he didn't end up capitalizing on it. Really Another D is already over. Marth is down to two stocks again. Rick is just taking priority on this, man. <laughs> We're getting more of the up airs. He's gonna try to keep him above him. He's probably gonna go for the dare now. Yep, he tried, but he ended up missing. Jabro went under the ledge too fast, and he ends up missing Rick the can't ledge. Quite reach that ledge. Jabro sitting at 69%. He could easily be taken out, or he can just take the match back. Anything can go. A great good grab. grab. A good up tilt straight from the grab. Really good pressure. Oh, Ooh, and, and the dare. Spike. That was a great spike. So now I'd say that J-Bro has a pretty good lead over uh, Rick at this moment. He's already going for the grab again. Going for the up tilt, straight to Nair. Putting on great pressure at this point. Ooh, and he really gets hit by the knee. Dash. Ooh, Rick sitting at a high 92%. Yeah. 
Jaybird really has a chance to just take this all back. Captain Falcon is a very heavy character, though he's not easy to knock. All he needs is a dare. Oh, and he ends up missing the dare. I feel like he might go, go for, for it again. again. No. no, and he went for the forward smash and ended up taking him out. J-Bro is definitely proving his Marth skills, dude. This is really hype to watch. Rick's going for the Marth, and Marth we're going to ditto. get a Marth ditto. This is going to be exciting, because I have not seen Rick's Marth yet, and Final uh, destination I wonder how this is going to go. I'm anticipating and every, a lot they are, of jumping. They are already going really fast, starting off with all the dash dancing, going straight for the Nairs, up tilts. There's going to be a lot of air game here. Both want to be in the air and both scared of the air at the same time. Right. Uh, we have a Marth v. Marth versus It's J. Bro J. versus Rick, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like he could have capitalized on a forward smash and ended up taking that out. Oh, and he goes straight for the up tilt. Can we get a uh, forward smash? Do we get a dare? Maybe? No. No, just a neutral B. And he's already out. Can't recover from that. J Bro is on a good lead right now, low on percentage, but Rick is just piling that up. A good counter from J Bro. We're getting a grab game. I'm expecting an up tilt. Really good nope. dashes into grabs. A lot of just dash dancing, trying to get each other to come to each other. Don't want to make too much of an approach because they easily could be countered or punished for whatever they try to do. Just oh, going like for that. The counter. Going for the counters. A lot of shield pressure happening, not even because they need to pressure the shield. There's another they just really like the good counter. Arm. Jaybro is just on on point with the counters right now. Even at 127%, I feel like he still has a good lead over Rick right now. And if he could just get uh, a couple of good grabs to an up tilt and then just take him out with like a forward smash or something, he would immediately take it out. And he goes for the up air. And I'm expecting his forward smash and ends up missing it, goes for the neutral air. Oh. Trying to keep it towards the edge. Good it's up air doing dodge. the air dodge. Messing up Jay Bros. Attempting a smash. counter. <laughs> Can't quite get it. Ooh, and goes for the forward smash. Another counter attempt. He keeps on going for these counters and he gets punished for every single one that he does. He's becoming a bit predictable with them. It really is, yes. Four stock to two stock. Jaybro sitting at 144%. Rick could easily take out this stock, and he already does. Rick is only sitting at 11%. He could definitely take this back, just if he doesn't get hit too much and doesn't and piles on a lot of the damage on the Jaybro. They could be on the same playing field again, but it looks like Jaybro is already taking him into a smash. Attempting a spike. Tried to go for the spike on the Lots edge. Lots of down airs happening from Jaybro. <laughs> a couple of missed grabs. <laughs> the best from grab both. game. Ooh, and you get forward smash. It doesn't look good for Rick. And that is it. Can't quite make right. it back up. One stock left. We still have three stocks on with J-Bro. Really low percent. It's not looking so good for Rick right now, especially with the chain grabs. And all it needs to take is a forward smash, and that is it. Yep. It was a good match. J-Bro presented his amazing Marth. That was a really good game to watch. A lot of grab tech, just fantastic to look at. We're gonna have